Han Robot, waiting on stage before the debate on the future of mankind at an artificial intelligence demonstration by Hansen Robotics at the RISE Technology Conference in Hong Kong, July 2017. Technology tycoon Elon Musk gave his utmost warning about the dangers of artificial intelligence. He said that for humanity is a bigger threat than the North Korean missiles. He tweeted the warning August 11, amid mounting tension between North Korea and the United States. The two tweets on the topic got thousands of comments and tens of thousands of retweets and likes. Tweets, one with a poster of a retro horror movie with the words the machines will win, give an impression of foreshadowing. The poster appears to be an anti-gambling advertisement published by a government commission from Australia. As Musk becomes more concerned, his warnings become more disturbing, almost apocalyptic. Musk's last major concussion on artificial intelligence came at a meeting of the National Association of Governors. Musk stressed that artificial intelligence needs to be regulated as anything that poses a hazard, before it becomes a problem, and before it develops completely. According to an NPR report about the meeting, many of those present did not know how to respond to the issues that Musk raised. Musk has been warning about the dangers of artificial intelligence for a few years. His point was shown after Facebook was forced to close an artificial intelligence project, as reported in the Epoch Times. Facebook made an artificial intelligence program that created its own language and alarmed the engineers. Prior to that, Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook suggested that Musk infused fear in his talk by the National Governors Association. Musk is doing more than just talking. Its support for the OpenAI initiative is intended to provide a mechanism for monitoring the progress of artificial intelligence and controlling its development. Musk wants to make sure there is a way to get it back and restrict it, knowing as much as possible about artificial intelligence, Fortune reported. The existential risk from artificial general intelligence is the hypothetical threat that dramatic progress in artificial intelligence could someday result in human extinction or some other unrecoverable global catastrophe. The argument for the existence of the threat is that the human species currently dominates other species because the human brain has some distinctive capabilities that the brains of other animals lack. If artificial intelligence surpasses humanity in general intelligence and becomes super-intelligent, then this new superintelligence could become powerful and difficult to control. By way of example, just as the fate of the mountain gorilla depends on human goodwill, so might the fate of humanity depend on the actions of a future machine superintelligence. The severity of different artificial intelligence risk scenarios is widely debated, and rests on a number of unresolved questions about future progress in computer science. Two sources of concern are that a sudden and unexpected intelligence explosion might take an unprepared human race by surprise, and that controlling a super-intelligent machine or even instilling it with human-compatible values may be an even harder problem than naively supposed, a group of 116 experts in robotics and artificial intelligence, led by Elon Musk and Mustafa Suleiman, are calling on the United Nations to ban the development and use of murderous robots. In their petition, signed by experts from 26 countries, they call for the ban on autonomous weapons warning the review conference of the Convention on Conventional Weapons, which will meet next Friday, that this arms race threatens to start the third warlike revolution after gunpowder and nuclear weapons. Once developed, deadly autonomous weapons will allow armed conflict to be fought on a larger scale than ever, and at time scales faster than humans can understand, warn the signatories. They can be terror weapons, weapons that despots and terrorists can use against innocent populations, they add. Elon Musk, Tesla's founder and SpaceX, has been warning about the dangers of artificial intelligence AI. Ten days ago, he pointed out on Twitter that artificial intelligence represents a greater threat to humanity than North Korea's own missiles. We do not have much time to act. Once the Pandora's box is opened, it will be difficult to close it, they point out. We need to make decisions today by choosing which of these futures we want. I strongly support the call of many humanitarian and other organizations for the United Nations to ban such weapons, such as chemical weapons and other weapons prohibitions, said Toby Walsh, 
a key organizer of the charter, and professor of artificial intelligence at Science NTIA at the University of New South Wales in Sydney, Australia. The UN recently voted to begin formal talks on such weapons, which include unmanned drones, tanks and machine guns. As a warning, this group of experts have published an open letter to the UN during the opening of the International Congress on Artificial Intelligence, which started Monday in Melbourne, Australia. Stephen Hawking believes that science and technology threaten humanity, experts have previously warned that artificial intelligence technology has reached a point where the deployment of autonomous weapons is feasible in years, rather than decades. In fact, it is not the first time that the specialists of this conference have issued a warning about the potential danger of the military use of artificial intelligence. Two years ago, experts like Musk himself, Steve Wozniak or Stephen Hawking warned they had already spoken about it Stephen Hawking and Bill Gates have also mentioned the dangers of artificial intelligence. In a 2014 interview, Hawking told the BBC, the full development of artificial intelligence could mean the end of the human race. Bill Gates also influenced the discussion. I do not think it's inherent that creating superintelligence will necessarily always have the same goals in mind as we do, he said in an interview with Fox Business. I do not agree with people who say let's not worry at all about it. These are some of the technology experts and tech closest to the technology that are giving their warnings. How close are we to developing a real artificial intelligence? What most people want to know is when we will achieve the next level of artificial intelligence, which will be quite challenging. Artificial general intelligence has seen some big breakthroughs in the 21st century, and it is possible this form of sentient being will become a reality in the next few decades. The vast majority of weak ace are capable of learning and becoming smarter. Eventually, the weak artificial intelligence technology we use today will evolve into artificial general intelligence. One thing to keep in mind is how computers have a tendency to scale pretty quickly. For artificial intelligence to evolve, scaling is an absolute necessity. Computers evolve at a much quicker pace than the human mind. Where humans take thousands of years to evolve, computers can do the same in 100 years or less. Once scientists achieve the creation of AGIS the leap to artificial superintelligence will be right after. The future is both bright and scary at the same time, that much is certain. Artificial consciousness, the question has ethical implications, particularly if we bring the controversial topic of consciousness into the equation. From a scientific viewpoint, Consciousness is a state that arises when a biological brain interprets the flood of sensory input streaming in from the world around it, leading, somehow, to the conclusion that it exists as an entity. It's not well understood at all but most of us can conceive how this massive flood of images and sounds is interpreted through a biological neural network which leads to thoughts and among those thoughts are concepts of individual existence such as I am a human, I exist and I am experiencing thoughts. So, it's only a small step of logic to assume that machines will one day perhaps soon, given how broad the stream of data they are capable of ingesting and processing is becoming in some way experience this phenomena, too. How long before a machine is capable of saying to us I too, am experiencing a sense of existence and individuality? And, when it does, will we have any sound intellectual ground from which to argue that it is isn't? After all, Science has yet to put forward any evidence against the idea that we are entirely mechanistic constructs ourselves. Our brains run on electricity and rely on energy to fuel them. Oh, and because I realize that religious people might feel alienated by the ideas I'm bringing up here here's one for you guys. If God exists, and created us, doesn't that mean that we're really nothing more than ace ourselves? giving us even less ground to argue with a human-created artificial intelligence that it isn't sentient itself? Today when we talk about consciousness and the possibility that machines will develop sentience, it feels like we are wandering into fringe territories. But it's potentially a problem that will become very real for us at some time in the future, if we remain in pursuit of ever more human-like intelligence. Perhaps fortunately, when we talk about artificial intelligence today, 
most of them type we are talking about very specific applications focused on solving a particular problem. It's doubtful, for example, that we are going to find ourselves in an argument anytime soon with the artificial intelligence that manages energy regulation in Google's data centers about whether it is conscious or not. But that could just be because we haven't given it a mouth to speak with yet, or the sensors it needs to make that deduction. When we do, we might have to prepare for a shock.